Hey, what's going on? Uh, this is Charles. Anyway, I want to do this real quick. Just a preview because I am going to clean up and rejuvenate this um, <coughs> excuse me, Swiss um, this is the Swiss uh, Ruck salt and pepper. Um, the leather on this is a little bit dry but it's still pliable so I think that these things look like they're pretty sound um, I'll figure it out after I uh, start actually cleaning it um, the cool thing is this buyer I mean not buyer the seller also had these two original straps so these straps can go on this middle one if I wanted um, more importantly just for these attachments on the side that's cool nice looks like he's getting rid of some stuff just threw in these little tiny pleather type of things whatever that's cool appreciate that and then um, <clears throat> another great thing about this thing is I got this for about 50% of the cost of a regular one so with this thing cost me $55 plus $20 shipping, you know, so making it $75. Um, you know, a lot of places will sell these for about $150 to $175, and that includes shipping. So um, this thing was listed under a Swedish rucksack. And that's how I caught it. So that's what I do is if I want something Swiss, I look for Swedish. Or if I want Swedish, I look under Swiss. Uh, sometimes um, people don't know exactly what they have. Um, this may have been bought at a garage sale or something like that. Estate sale. Who knows. Um, but a lot of times people see these things and then buy it. And then they don't know exactly what it is. And uh, in the English language, and I do this sometimes too, I'll, I'll refer to some of my Swiss stuff as Swedish and vice versa. Um, so it's common enough, especially on eBay or online, that people misidentify things and then you can get a great deal because nobody's looking for, for this. If this was listed under the proper listing, this thing... Um, would have sold for 120 bucks or more um, <clears throat> so there are some stains on here it's not that big of a deal and I can probably clean this up I use a, a special cleaner that doesn't ruin the fabric and doesn't uh, you know basically kind of eats this stuff up has enzymes in there um, this thing's in uh, you know pretty good condition still have the collar on here which is great the leather on the bottom seems very sound you know they use a, a little bit softer but thicker leather here versus these tend to be a little bit more you know tougher but um, also can be brittle and uh, see how thick that stuff is um, <clears throat> there's a couple little tiny dings on here that's not too too bad <laughs> um, and then you can see this large stain on the back and that's really not that big of a deal uh, because if I cannot clean this up who's really gonna see it you know when I'm wearing it yeah of course you have to take the rucksack off stuff like that but who cares I don't care and for that price yeah, I'll take it any day and uh, <coughs> let's take a look so it looks like I need to do a little bit of work on these straps um, they're somewhat dry but I'm sure I can um, fix that this thing was made in 1963 <laughs> That's about it right now. I'll show you um, what I do, or after I do something with it, I'll show you. Have a good one.